November the 5th, 2018. I'm Christopher Benjamin, Special Magistrate for the City of North Miami. The purpose of this hearing is to determine if a code violation exists at your property as observed and cited by a code enforcement officer of this city. If the city is not able to prove his case, then I'll dismiss the case and you'll be free to leave. Uh, these proceedings are being recorded, so all persons who are speaking should do so one at a time to ensure that all testimony is clearly audible on the recording device. Now, if English is not your primary language, then please let me know and we'll get you a, a translator during your proceedings. When your case is called, the property owner, agent for the property owner, and any witnesses that you may have should come forward to the podium on the left side of the room. When asked, please speak directly to the microphone and say aloud your name, your business or mailing address, and your relationship to the property. If you're not the property owner or an attorney representing the property owner, then you're going to need a signed and notarized power of attorney to represent the for your testimony to be taken on behalf of the property owner. For new cases, I will, you will be asked for the record if you are aware of and understand the violation that is being heard today, and do you understand what is required to resolve the violation? So please answer accordingly. The city will present its case first, and then the property owner or violator will be given an opportunity to testify on their own behalf to provide witnesses to testify to present evidence and photographs and to cross-examine the city's witnesses. Following the case presentation, I'll issue a finding of fact on your case. Uh, and then depending on the case type, I'll set an abatement date for the violation to be resolved or for repeat violations, I will impose a daily fine amount. For, non, for new non-repeat cases, my order will include an abatement date by which you must resolve the violation and a daily fine amount that I may impose at a future hearing date should the violation not be resolved by the abatement date. If I find sufficient cause to postpone enforcement at this time, then I'll table the case for a date in the near future. If you don't agree with my findings of fact or rulings, then the property owner may appeal the administrative order on your case to the circuit court. We being here in Miami-Dade County, that'd be the 11th Judicial Circuit Court. An appeal must be filed within 30 days of the date of the execution of the administrative order that is to be appealed. In accordance with Florida statutes, if a person decides to appeal any decision made by this special magistrate with regards to any matter considered at these proceedings, then the person will need a verbatim record of the proceeding, and this record includes the testimony and evidence upon which the, appe the appeal is to be based. The cause for obtaining the verbatim record shall be the sole responsibility of the appellant, meaning the person appealing, and it is the response, it is the recommendation that persons who plan to appeal their case should probably provide their own court reporters during these proceedings. Now, pursuant to city code, if the city of North Miami prevails in prosecuting a case before this special magistrate, the city shall be entitled to recover all costs incurred in prosecuting the case. And the current cost assessment amount is $100 per case. Now, once the city records an order that imposes a fine and authorizes a lien against the property, then the city shall charge an additional administrative fee in order to record the release of those liens. Now, if you're going to be giving testimony today on the case, please rise and raise your right hand uh, to be sworn and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. or affirm that the testimony you are about to give in these proceedings will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Just say aloud, I do. I, I do. do. Please remain standing. Everyone, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Stand. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you. 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 Madam Clerk, please announce any additions, corrections, or deletions to the agenda, and then call your first case. Good morning. The um, deletions are as followed. Item number one, image via 02017-01145-1310 Sunrise Plaza, complied. Item number 12, CEPFY 2018-0023-3, Carlos Dixon, complied. 
Item number 13, CEFAW 2017-00112, Claude Bastien, complied. Item number 14, CEGMP 2017-00093, Claude ba Bastien, complied. Item number 16 through 21, MHVIO 2018 0452, MHVIO 2018 0453, MHVIO 2018 0454, MHVIO 2018 0455, MHVIO 2018 0056, and MHVIO 2018 0463. Crystal Ball, Jill, Jill and Kari Dad complied. Item number 27, CEEXP 2018-00021, Deborah Nails, change of ownership. Item number 28, CEPFY 2018-00226, Delphine Opet, complied. Item number 29, CEWWC 2018-00001, DGAF Partners LLC, complied. Item number 30, CEZCU 2017-00009, Eli Fisher, postponed. Item number 31, CEIVY 2018-00142, Enomia Gonzalez, complied. Item number 32, RCCOR 2016-00005, Ernst Felix, postponed. Item number 33, CEEXP 2018-0024, Fettler LLC, on the change of ownership. Item number 34, 35, CEODS 2018-0069 and CEZPU 2018-0028, Fettler LLC, change of ownership. Item number 36, CEJNK 2018-0048, and item number 37, CEPOD 2018-003, Frank Martinez complied. Item number 39, MHVIO 2017-01059, Gabjack postponed. Item number 43, CEPAR 2018-00021, Gladys Ken Delario, change of ownership. Item number 44 and 45, Image VL 2017 and Image VL 2018 Gonzalez Properties complied. Item number 46, CEGMP 2018-0072, Guillermo Aviez, postponed. Item number 48, CENUS 2018-0075, Hilton McDowell, complied. Item number 72, CERCV 2018-0011, Janine Olivia, Olivera, postponed. Item number 74, MHVL 2018-00596, JBS Capital Holdings, LLC, complied. Item number 79, CEECS 2018-0008, George Gutierrez Nico, complied. Item number 81, MHVL 2018-00676, complied. Item number 82, CEFOB 2018-0001, Lassum Investment, postponed. And item number 83, CEZCU 2018-001, Lassum Investment, postponed. Item Item number 86, CEBPR 2018-0005, Los Funding LLC, change of ownership. Item number 90, CEFAW 2018-0060, Martin. Huh? Go back, you said change of, change of ownership? Mm -hmm. So you're taking it off, Kelly? Yeah. Why? By statute, the previous owner is supposed to notify the new owner of the hearing. Keep it on. Okay. So all the, all the ownership ones that was changed, leave them on. Yeah. 
Item number 90, CFAW 2018-0060, Martin Fenelon by Investments, complied. Item number 91-92-93, CERCV 2018-0043, and CEZOA 2018-0004, and CEZPU 2018-0022, Miguel Guerrero, complied. Item number... 94, CELDR 2018. Item number 110, FYBRR 2017-0089, Centile Jacob Enterprise, complied. Item number 111, CESS, CESRR 2018-0013, Sunny Comfort Homes, LLC, complied. Item number 112, MHVL 2017-01314, Surrey Far Farias and Edward Garcia, complied. Item number 115, MHVL 2018-00557, Shutton Apartment LLC, complied. Item number 117, CELDR 2018-00022, Sylvia Brown, complied. Item number 123, CERCV 2018-00042, Vladimir Masilia, well, that one remained on the, on the agenda. And item number 124, CEIVY 2018-0052, Ware Homes LLC, complied. Item number 128, MHVL 2017-01032, YMP Cinecourt LLC, postponed. And all the other cases that were change of ownership remains on the agenda. And our first case is item number five, Officer Dessaline, customer Anna Maria Menrissa, Case number CEBNP 2018-0004. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Maria Elena Gomez. I'm representing my sister because she just had surgery and she can come in. And do you have a do you have a power of attorney for her? No. I didn't know you had to have a power of attorney. Yeah. I just want to show up. Yeah, unfortunately, you need a power of attorney in order in order for us to hear the case uh, with you representing her. Otherwise, you have to be an attorney. Oh. All right. Okay. So, so with that being said, reset. Thank you. She'll send out a new notice. I have all. I have the plans here to Okay, whatever you, whatever you need to help her out in terms of getting the violation situated, go ahead and do that this morning if you can. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a wonderful You too. <coughs> Item number six and Barnett, Officer Ernst Baptiste. Case number C E F A W two zero one eight zero zero. 056. Um, the property is under my father's name and I have guardianship. All right. Papers. He's um, incapacitated. His, his name is Ann Barnett. My name is Ann Barnett. His name is Robert Barnett, but he's the homeowner. It says, it says here that you are the phone homeowner. All right. That's fine. Then I'll represent myself. All right. All right. <laughs> go ahead and make, go ahead and make your appearance for the record. Um, I'm Ann Barnett, the homeowner, as you have on file, and I'm um, here because I had a violation since Hurricane Irma, I believe, or whenever you guys violated me for the fence, and I had been fighting with the insurance. I finally got the insurance released, and I have proof of that. I just need time to get um, a contract with a contractor that is affordable to me, because right now I'm getting very high quotes from contractors, 7000 6000 just to fix a wooden fence. Okay, so mm -hmm. it is my uh, taking that you are not objecting to the violation I'm you not, see. No. All right, how much time do you need? Um, another 30 days. All right, so granted, mm -hmm. find that a violation does exist to cite it, 
issue the abatement date of October 10th. If not abated by October 10th, then it's $300 per day until abated. Thank you so much. All right. Mm -hmm. um. Item number 15, Officer Gary Beswick, customer Kofi 6, North Miami LLC, case number MSVL 2017-01194. Good morning. Good morning. I'm John Suarez. I've been uh, representing the, the as the contractor. Uh, we have the all is the, the is the property owner here? I'm the property manager. All right. Go ahead and make your appearance for the record. Aisha Huggins, property manager over North Miami Business Park. Thank you. Is it normally me? This is this a new violation? No. No. Oh, okay. It's for Kofi 6, North Miami LLC. Did we, uh. Sorry. Was there, um. Abatement? No. All right, so I guess you're going to explain why the abatement hasn't occurred. Uh, plans are still Miami Dade getting approved and going back and forth, back and forth with all their, uh, you know, comments and stuff. You can see it here in the plans tracking. How many times have the plans been rejected? Uh, apparently by Durham three times, but the architect has literally gone in person and had it approved in person. But yet when we go to pick up the plans, like yesterday we paid the WASA fee $2,200. They wouldn't give us the, the permit because they're like, no, Durham disapproved it. But yet, like I said, the architect has been there in person and got the approval. But yet in the computer, it still shows denied. Does he does he have anything that shows it was approved? I mean, I'm not him, so correct. Goes when they approve it, they stamp it. Right. But yet in the comments for Derm, it's like, oh, it's been disapproved three times, and we didn't want the architect to show up. Mm -hmm. You know, I do know the first time it was disapproved was for like uh, an asbestos report. Is Derm the only? Is Derm the only is Derm the only agency that's holding it up at the county? Yeah. Mr. Beswick, any comments? No, really. All right. Last 30 days. Thank you. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Item number 40, Officer Dessaline, customer Govona Bryant. Case number C E P A R two zero one eight zero 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 six. Good morning. My name is Javon Bryan. I'm the proctor owner. And yes, that's her. Good morning. So uh you, you have notice of the violation. Do you have any objections to the violation? Well, no, and Oops. yes, which I explained it to her. How much time do you, I'm, I'm just going to take well, the no part. How, <laughs> how much time <laughs> do you need? Well, it's, it's through the insurance with the hurricane. I just received another letter yesterday reference to um, trying to approve the claim to, for all the repairs and stuff, and she's been so sweet. And I'm waiting on them. That's, that's all it is. I mean, they, um, I believe on, on it it had something about, a red car. How much and time do you think you need? As soon as I hear from them, as soon as I get get this approved, I just received this yesterday. Unfortunately, we, that's we can't we can't operate like that. You have to give me a time frame. Other I, otherwise, I'll set my own time frame and <laughs> give me sixty days, and I'll do it on my own. All right. Find the violation does exist as cited. Issue an abatement date of November fourteenth, and not abated by November fourteenth. Then it's three hundred dollars per day until abated. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Item number 41, Officer Sanders, customer Gideon Luizard, and case number CEBPR 2017-00110. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead and state your name for the record. 
This is Mr. Gideon and Marie. Okay, he hired me to con to process their plans and permits. Okay. Um, I understand today was the last. Um, Mr. Laz Lazar Gideon. Yeah. Mr. Gideon, go ahead and make your appearance for the record, please. You need a translator? Bonjour. Okay, he said good morning and good morning. My name is Gideon Liza. Okay. Now, may I make your appearance for the record and, and in what capacity you're here for? Okay. My name is Mary Samper. I um, own a permitting company. Mr. Jillian recently hired me. Permitted processing? Yes. You do permit processing? Yes. Okay. Um, where are you at with that process? Okay. How, well, when, when were you? When were you? When was your company re retained, and where are you at in the process? Well, I would say three, four weeks ago. Four weeks ago. Okay. As soon as they hired me, I went to the building department. Mm -hmm. I um, found out that there were comments to be addressed by the architect slash engineer. I picked up the plans, mm -hmm. which was on August 17th, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, August 17th, and uh, I called the engineer. She apparently wanted to speak to um, the homeowner, not me. What I did in the process, I took the plans to the homeowner and they in turn took it to the engineer and she um, submitted it August 24th because mm -hmm. there were comments for structural, which is in the process. There is a possibility that today we might get it approved. Not a hundred percent. I was told by the building department structural will be going there today because he picked up the plans that had to be processed by him last week. Okay. So if it's possible, within a week or two, everything should be all right. Because once structural approve it, all we have left is flood. Then we'll obtain the permit. Please. Shannon Sanders, City of North Miami, co compliance officer. Um, as Ms. Marie has stated, she has been hired um, as their permit runner. Um, you, have any, you have any objection to additional time? Um, how much time are you willing to give them? I mean, I, I, I would say about 30 days. Um, 30 days to the very least, because this has been going on for over a year. So I don't think I have any increments you know, less than yeah, 30 days. Yeah, 30 days, um, no more, no less. Yeah. I have no objections. All right. That'll so be fine. 30 days. Yes. Right. Thank you, Ms. Sanders. Thank you. Thank That's you. It? That's it. All right. Have a great day. You too. <laughs> Item number 42, Officer Sanders, Customer Gulam Yasin. Case number is CEBPR 2017-00106. Which one again? Which one? My name is Rashid Tahir. Ghulam is my nephew. He called me that he's uh, stuck up in the traffic, uh, which I have the information. We submitted the, the plan, and uh, it is with the engineer. Engineer has to go to Bahamas, and we are waiting for that. When he come back, we will uh, do the, uh, the process. So you, ha you have the plans, and you, you've submitted, have you submitted the plans to the appropriate departments? Yeah, building department, we had, uh, we pick up the plan, whatever they have, ob ob objection on that. Mm -hmm. So we are moving, trying to remove the objection, whatever is there. Uh, it is with the uh, engineer, our engineer. But uh, he has to go to Bahamas. The engineer has to go to the Bahamas? Uh, the engineer. He went to Bahamas. When he come back, we will submit the, uh, uh, the uh, plan again to the city. After correction, the whatever the city requires. When did you pick up the plans? Uh, the I tell my nephew pick up the plan uh, August first. Okay. And 
since then there's no been no no corrections to the plans yes they are, they are, he, tr he he doing correction on the, that but he has to go the uh, when he, comes he back. himself do, he's doing the corrections himself or do you have a you have a, a engineer right who's doing the corrections to the plans well, well, engineer we are not my, uh, our engineer your engineer yes okay and he hasn't finished it yet no Shanna Sanders, City of North Miami, co-compliance officer. I just want to, you know, make sure I'm understanding this correct. Your engineer is your nephew who's going to the Bahamas. Is that what you're saying? No, 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 not my nephew. Okay. My nephew is here. Your engineer went to the Bahamas. Engineer, engineer. Yeah, his engineer went on vacation for. Mm. So um, my engineer. question would be, how long is he going to be in the Bahamas? Do you know when your engineer is coming back? We don't know yet, sir. Okay. When did he, did, did he tell you when he left? Do you know when he left? Well, we are trying to ask, ask him to uh, uh, fix the plan quickly as soon as possible so we can resubmit that we don't have to come back again and again. Right, but when did he leave? Well, Do you know? I don't know. You don't know? You just know he's not, a, he's not available. Yeah. All right. Okay, so with this case, I mean, um, I don't know if you need any history on it. This has already been adjudicated. Um, right. I, this has I, been I, over a year. I again. remember because the... Uh, Yassine is actually was actually deported, I believe, right? No, that's another property that's on another 870. One? Yeah, oh. that's 142nd Street. What happened to this Yassine? Is one. Um, this one, um, <laughs> um, they were here last month or either the month before last. I don't um, really recall which month exactly, but um, this has been going on for over a year. Um, originally cited June 22nd of 2017, um, whereas the tenant who lives in the rear of the property called in with a complaint about the um the structure as a whole um as of today they have submitted a permit for to demolish the rear of the property but um you know as of today the structure still remains the permit has not been obtained now he's stating that the engineer is in the bahamas can't give really a certain time frame as to when he would return for this one i will go ahead and ask for a um, fine to be assessed What what happened to you? Who's Yassin Golam? Golam. Well, he, he 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 was coming from Homestead right now this morning. So Yassin is on his way. Yeah, Yassin and Golam the same thing, sir. He's on his way. Yeah. Okay. So we'll pass the case and we'll wait for Yassin to get back. Okay. All right. Item number forty-nine through forty-eight. Sixty-nine. Officer Rahima Golden, Vanessa Willis, as well as John Dorville. Customer Inspirational Point in Venus Park. Case number, well, Your permit name. number. Image VIO two zero one seven zero zero six five. Image VIO two zero one seven zero zero six seven. Image VIO two zero one seven zero zero seven eight. Image route 20180118. Image route 20180119. Image route 20180121. Image route 20180122. Image route 20180123. Image route You're trying to read from 49 to to 69. No, let the record ref let the record reflect as it as it is reflected on the permit um, printout of eight twenty twenty eighteen. I think she stepped out, Special Magistrate. Right, I don't. Next case, Sierra Raheem is going to go and see if she's right there. So nobody f from Inspirational Point. She was here, but oh. she might have stepped out. All right, item I number. I swear that sounds like the makeout place. Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on. We're waiting on you and your makeup. You're making it look like we're ganging up on her this morning. You don't want to. You're in another meeting? At the same time. Sorry, 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 sorry. You got to deal with your makeup building. Uh, inspiration point? Is that what yeah. we're dealing with right now? Okay. Yeah. The three pages? Yeah. Or four pages? Yeah, four pages. Okay. Of, of previous, uh, the only good part about this is that they're all previously adjudicated. 
Yeah, the only thing I'm gonna tell you is the building is still closed. <laughs> the building itself is closed? Yeah, there's nobody there. Oh. The building is closed. Wow. Wow. Thanks to a fire. Thanks to a fire <laughs> by squatters. They say y'all won't, if y'all, if we can't have it, no one can, huh? Exactly. That's exactly what their attitude was. June the 6th, since June the 6th, the building's been closed. So We're actually working with an engineer, an architect. We have to go draw up plans. We have to redo the whole second floor. We have to do electrical. We have to do the fire alarm. We have to do the elevator. So that leaves all tenants Everybody's out, of that out. Build, out of that building. Nobody's there. So that's actually a blessing in disguise. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. But it's a lot of work now that I have to kick in. So and I am. And a lot of work about how you let people come back. Oh, no, that's. That's uh, what's happening is that one unit owner is actually buying out the rest of the people. So what's going to happen is going to be probably that one guy is going to redo the whole building and then everything's going to change. Great, so, great. So we only have one person to find. Great. Well, no, I have a couple of people because we passed a special assessment emergency so that we can start doing the work. And obviously this one unit owner that owns like 13 units doesn't want to pay. So we're doing as much as we can. We do have security officers on site 24-7. Uh, and people are only allowed to come in and move out their stuff by appointment basis. And we have a schedule of who's going in and out and the security is with them while they're moving their stuff out. Awesome. City. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> City of Vanessa Willis, City of North Miami Code Compliance. Um, basically, what she's saying is true as far as there not being anybody there. Even yesterday, um, security staff had gone really early. Security staff wasn't there at the time, but the gates were locked. I haven't seen anybody on the property other than security. Um, all of my violations, of course, would still be pending because I haven't been able to go in to check them to confirm whether anything is done. But as she's saying, because it was a fire, nothing is going to be done anyway. Do you have a fire so. report? Um, I, the fire report, uh, actually, um, the city of North Miami Beach police has it. Um, I don't have a copy of it. I have to go pick it up from them, um, because the insurance already has it as well. We have not received anything from the insurance. We're just working on trying to see how we can move this on because obviously we need to pull out a lot of permits and there's a lot of things that need to be brought up to code. So it's going to be a long haul. Just share the fire report with code enforcement. Okay, I will. I'll send it to her. All right. I do have a little issue that once in a while we're having these tenants that are moving out. They are throwing out garbage and they're messing it up and then we're having security as part of their job cleaning up after them because they're just, it just is unbelievable. But that's why I sent you a picture of the dumpster. We had it all cleaned up again. Okay. Uh, we're still picking up garbage, but we shut out the water to the building. There's no electric to the building. Right now everything is okay. down until we redo the whole building. All right, stay, stay diligent, be patient, take these off of my uh, calendar until we have further re uh, review of the um, fire report. All right? Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Now for Venice Park. Venice Park is my next one. I only have two there, <laughs> but one of them is uh, elevator. Item number 121 and 122. Mm -hmm. Case number MHVL 2018 and MHVL 2018 Venice Park Condo, Officer Vanessa Willis, and then John Dorville. Okay, so we have a previous one and a new one. Good John morning, John Dorville, City North Miami Co Compliance. Um, this is MHBIO 2018 That is complied. 95. Okay, great. Case dismissed. And MHBIO 2018-00101, uh, the elevator. Where yes. are we at with that? Okay, um, one of the elevators, the motor got on fire. We did an insurance claim. It's costing over $20,000 to get that one done. The other one, they did a temporary repair. They broke it again, and now they're fixing it again, the elevator company. Um, so we have two inoperable elevators. Correct. We're trying to see what exactly happened to the other elevator. It was down for a while. We got it up running, and it only lasted a week, and it went down again. How many floors? It is four floors. What are you guys doing? A, B, C. No, three floors. Three. Three, how many, three floors. How many elevators? Two. So both elevators are down? Are down, yes. I'm working really badly on the one in the back, because that one got modernized by a company, 
remember that there was a lawsuit and all that, but they didn't do the complete modernization. So there's parts in there that they've been having to order and replace, and the guy used some cheap parts that he ordered from China, I don't know what. So it's, it's like a whole mission. <laughs> and um, so we've had to now redo a bunch of parts there, and they've ordered parts, but they got it fixed. It was running for maybe one or two days, and then it stopped, and then it ran for like a week, and then it stopped again. So now I have to, um, I just text him again to get an update on what's going on with that elevator. All right, just be careful, because <laughs> inoperable elevators with a four-story building. It's three, three stories, sorry. Is more than likely a violation in and of itself. I know, we're trying to get it fixed. We um, were really trying to get it fixed. All right. Um, I, if I were an elevator technician, I would have gotten done, probably. Uh, <laughs> Myself, that's the only thing, <laughs> but I right. can't. All right, just understand we're eight, mo we're eight months in on this one, so. Uh, I need to do it because if not, I'm getting violations from Dade County also for the elevator, so I am working on it. It's not like I'm not. not it's just taking a long time. Not to mention, you know, tenants could complain. They're already complaining, oh. but we have issues with the roof. We have issues with, with a bunch of other things. There are plumbing and stuff, so we're working on a bunch of things there. All right. I'm going to, just out of the sake of uh, not bringing you back every month, I'm going to give you until November 21st. Okay. I'm going to try to get it done before then, obviously. I'll text you or email you and send you whatever they've done. Okay. Okay? But I probably won't be so nice. I know. November 21st. I'll try to get it by November. I'm going to tell you the first one, the one with the burnt out motor, it's not going to probably happen because that's costing a lot of money and a lot of people there don't want to pay anything. Okay. But there needs to be but at, at least, least I'll have one. One working elevator yes. for the building. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. No have problem. a nice day. You too. Item number 71, Officer Shannon Sanders, customer. <coughs> Wait, take that back. Item number 70. Officer Baptiste, customer Jack Pear, case number CEPFY 2018-00250. Go ahead and make your appearance for the record. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. State your names for the record. Yeah. Do you need an interpreter? Does she need an interpreter? Who's who's Jacques Pierre? Actually, he's not here. He he has three days to pass away. So oh. he's my mom, so I need to go to him. Our condolences. Okay, right. Um. This is the wife. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, we have an interpreter for you. Ma'am, go ahead and state your name for the record. No, I need that from where Pierre. Okay. What's your relationship to Jacques Pierre? Madame Louis, his wife. And this is the property that you guys live in? Oui. Yes. Okay. Um, the violation is for parking on the lawn in front of the yard. In the city of North Miami, this is this is prohibited. So you the property owner to receive the citation for it. Are you objecting to this citation? Yes. All right. Uh, Mr. Baptiste for the city. Ernst Baptiste, City of Miami, Court Enforcement Officer. This is a violation that was open for the car park on the front lawn. Violation was open on in May 2018, posted the property on uh, August 14. I took picture yesterday and car still park on the front lawn. Show sure, Mrs. Pierre. No, bag and police. Bag and lot no mem chasement visa. I only received one. Yeah, chasement visa. Oui, chasement visa. Bag and bag and lot no. We've been parking there for more than 10 years. So, Mr. Sodazon, if you're going to give testimony, state your name for the record. Yeah. Antonio Pierre Lewis. Okay. What's your, relas what's your relationship to the property owner? Antonio, my son. Maria. My son in law. <laughs> <laughs> Maria. 
Okay. Is that your vehicle? Okay. This magistrate takes judicial notice of the photograph. But we've been parking there for more than 10 years. I have pictures. Yeah, the length of time that you've been parking there does not stop it from being a violation. You, you got lucky. So you got lucky for 10 years and no one cited you. But we're not under, under grass. I can show you a picture. But even, but I can tell you that based, even from seeing it from afar, what you're showing me, mm -hmm. it's not sufficient as a parking way okay. or a driveway. That's not sufficient okay. to the code. Okay. It has to be a driveway for you to park there. Can I put concrete on that spot? As long as you get the permit. Yes, of course. This is you get the permit, that's oh, all. Okay. Okay. So and that's and that's actually the r the remedy. You either have to stop parking there, or you have to create a par uh, a driveway. All right. Okay. And the slab of concrete is not sufficient as a as a driveway. Okay. So we won't park there until we do it. Okay. Having heard the testimony, the evidence presented find that a violation does exist as cited. Issue an abatement date. How much time do you need? I'll give you three. three. Dece three. December 12th. Three. However, if it's not done by December 12th, then it's $300 per day until abated. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And again, our condolences. Item number 71, Officer Sanders, customer James Delane. Case number CEEXP 2017-00143. Good morning. James DeLang, homeowner. Did I say something? You've been made aware of the violation. Are there any objections to the violation? No, but I was here June 6th and uh, kind of explained the situation. This is a depressed property and I'm working on it. Um, they gave me till December to finish it. I have painted the awnings, I have cleaned the house, I have primed the house, but it rains a lot this time of year, so it's hard to f finish painting. So if they give me what they told me they would give me last time I was here, it would be great. But I'm, I'm literally painting every weekend, so it should be done as long as it doesn't rain me out. And have so you been by? Does our record reflect, th reflect um, that? Shanna Sanders, City of North Miami, Co Compliance Officer. Yes, I went by actually yesterday. I do have, um, up to date and recent photos if you would like to see. Well, um, I want to know if, uh, if the record reflects that. Correct. Uh, December that we gave until December to fix these things. It was six months on June 6th. June 7th, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then we yeah, he obtained the permit. Um, okay. But I, I gave him until December, so mm -hmm. we're, we're going to keep mm -hmm. we're going to keep that. Okay. Okay. Um, Thank you. All right. Take care. Um, um, while I'm up here, I want to um, make note, not for this gentleman, you can go ahead and go. Mr. Um, Gilliam, Gil, Gil, Gilliam is um, here, so we can go ahead and proceed with his case. Oh, um, yes, him. Yeah. All right. Call back. Um, yeah. Item number 42, Officer Sanders, customer Gulam. Yasin, case number CEBPR 2017-00106. Go ahead and make your appearance for the record. Ogulam Yasin, I'm the owner of the house. All right. Tell me what's going on. Yeah, the uh, architect is working on it. He got a few things done, but now he left. And yeah, do we, and we don't, would he know, did he give any indication as to when he's he's going to be back? Yeah, he told me like in three days he'll be back. Okay. And then I talked to him and said, like, what's, what's the process? 
And then he starts telling me, it should be you and the, uh, the building department, not the po uh, court enforcement. So I don't know, I mean, I say, I'm trying to get this done. Right. And I need, he said, it shouldn't be like you and the court enforcement, it should be you and the building department. I said, I don't know, I'm right here in the middle. Trying right, to get tell him that, that, that the magistrate said, don't worry about which department is citing the violation. I worry about correcting the plans. Yeah, that's what my, I'm, I'm right here. I'm the same. Yeah. I, I just want to get it done. I don't want no yeah. problem with the county or anybody. Yeah, tell, it, tell, it, tell the architect, address whatever remarks were made on the plans so that he so that you can get a permit so yeah. I don't have to find you. Yes, I'm, Your Honor, I'm trying to do whatever is possible yeah. to not be involved. Yeah, but it seemed like everybody just I'm stay in, in the middle of nowhere. No, tell, tell everybody, just everybody, just stay in their lane. Yeah, the city cited <laughs> a violation. Yeah, and the the architect was hired to to, ba to make plans. Yes, his plans were submitted. The appropriate agency who reviewed the plans yeah. made comments when they rejected the plans. His job is now not to not to decide whether that was the right agency or not. His job is to just do the correct the plans. Yeah. No, he's working on the plan, and right. he just said it takes time. It's very slow. Oh, he's and just when very you go slow. one place, and they want a couple of days. We jump to weeks, and then you go to another place. They want another. It's just months. Is like you know, when you work in a month, it's just like a but another week. The problem that we have is that this has been open for over a year. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully, he can get done soon. Like I don't know when. I just don't know. I mean, I'm paid the guy. It's not like I'm trying to hold back anything. It's when was it, when, when did you guys last pick up the plans? A August 1st? Yeah, and then he made some uh, adjustment, whatever that I guess he needed to do, but he needs to do more other things to resubmit the plan. But now he's not in town, so hopefully when he come back and he resubmit it, and then we can go forward. All right. Um... I'm trying to get this done. I have, and nope. I'm not. I'm yeah. not here. And I'm on the property. I'm in the homestead, so it's like coming back and forth is not even easy. You know? the, the hearing dates that they, that we have here they represent the um, third Wednesday. Okay. All right. Um, listen, you got you got to you got to make it happen for yourself. So this is the very final. That will be no more so if you if there's not done by october 16th mm. when you come back on october 17th the fines are going to be 250 dollars per day until it's done okay. all right hopefully god willing something happens god willing okay. all right thank you all right All right, call your next one. Item number 73, Officer Beswick, Beswick customer Joseldell Margin. Case number MSVL 0201700878. Go ahead and make your appearance. How you doing, sir? Good, Good. morning. My name is William Magrin, Jezebel's Magrin son, um, father. Um, last time we came, he told me I had to get on the property. I got my survey. I got my architect working on some plans. So I was going to see if I could get like another month. I already got my um, my permit paper here so we could start pulling the permit once my architect gave me my my plans so mm -hmm. we could go ahead and move forward with uh, the enclosure of the garage. That that was that's what was decided. Yeah, that's what that's that's what my intentions were from the beginning. Mm -hmm. But you know, the funds ran low, so I wasn't able to complete. But not now the ball is rolling again. So like I said, I got my survey. I got the engineer architect working on uh, some plans. They just gave me this right quick, so okay. I can be able to show. And right. um, I mean, Mr. Beswick, any comments? Nope. Next month, I should be already, you know, having a, a permit and already, you know, come, come in, uh, start the construction on the 
If not, it's going to be three hundred dollars per day. I understand that, sir. All right. All right. Appreciate you. Item number 75, Officer Baptiste, customer Jean Baptiste L. Pierre, case number CEFAW 2018000092. Good morning. I will need somebody speaking French or Creole, please. Go ahead and state your name for the record. Jean Baptiste Pierre. Jean Baptiste Pierre. Pierre. All right. Mr. Uh, Pierre, you've been made aware of the violations. Are there any objections to the violation? problem again. Mm. <laughs> I hear somebody from Lundy three months ago to buy paint that do it, but doesn't change their phone number. They disappeared. I can't find them. That's it's unfortunate. Um, yeah. was, this a, was this a licensed painter? No, 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 no. That was the first mistake. Um, so you recognize that there is a violation, though. Yes. You need to paint the cement pole and the metal rod iron fence. How much time? No, not the paint a fence. I know that's why you hire someone. If you can. All right. I'm going to give you 60 days. Okay. And I'm not going to give you any more time because I think even 60 days is quite a lo lot of time to paint a fence. Okay. All right. Okay. So I find that a violation does exist as cited. Issue an abatement date of October 10th. If not abated by October 10th. Then it's three hundred dollars per day until abated. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean November fourteenth. I keep fourteenth. Stop putting up. Stop putting up the current month in the abatement dates. <laughs> okay. I see. And how much? Three. Yeah, for offense. Exactly. <laughs> Shut up. Item number 76, <coughs> Officer Dessaline, customer Jean P. Pierre Lewis, case number CEEXP 20180044. Jean Pierre Lewis. <laughs> Mr. Pierre Lewis, make your appearance for the record. Okay. You were cited for uh, hmm? painting. You needed to paint the uh, the property. I painted. I've already painted. And did you replace? Yes. Or did you paint the awning as well? Yeah, 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 yeah,
City of North Miami Code Compliance Officer, Sophia Desolin. Yes, I did re-inspect the property when I did the posting in August um, 15. Um, it wasn't in compliance at that time. So um, I could definitely go by and check. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to find that a violation existed at the time of the citation. And should it not be complied with, you will have until October 10th to comply. If you don't, comp if, if, listen, listen, it's not a big deal. I'm going to, what basically what I'm telling you is to fix it by October 10th because the inspector, when she reinspected it, it had not yet been done. So October 10th gives her time to go out and see if it's been done. And if it's not been done, to inform you that that ain't good enough. And then you have until October 10th to make it good enough. If you should fail to do so by then, then it's $300 per day until it's good enough. All right? Okay, she's going to go check it. Yeah. All right. Item number 87, <coughs> customer Macedon Rainier, case, num case number CEGMP 2018-0011, Officer Desilin. He has two cases in item number 88, CEGMP 2018-0012, and Officer Desilin as well. All right, go ahead and make your appearance for the record. Good morning. Good morning. Your name? My name is Eli Renier. I'm the son of the property owner. Where's the property owner? They're both deceased. All right. Have you? Go ahead. I'm listening. Have you instituted probate? The problem is this. This is a probate issue. I need to have, it's in the process, it's being probate by uh, attorney Richard Lewis, okay? Now, all I can do is wait until they say, okay, you can put, I'm so, I apologize. Uh, yes, I try to pull the permit, but until the property is in my name, there's nothing I can do about pulling a permit. I'm, um, <laughs> the roof, which violation am I here for, please? Both of them. You're here for the roof and the paint. Okay. This issue that was from February 2nd, okay? She was supposed to have come back on uh, uh, February the 12th to inspect this property. That was about five, almost seven months ago. Okay, mm -hmm. every time she come, she <laughs> either complain about the color of the top that I have on the roof. Mm -hmm. Me, what I'm trying to do, trying to keep the water out. Not the color of the top. You see what I'm saying? She said, oh, you should put a gray top on instead. Me. Unfortunately, the city has codes regarding the color of the tar. Yeah, I can understand that. I'm a magistrate, but it's just that I'm a. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to comply, and this is what I, you know. Try to pull the permit. If I could have gone on the roof, as a matter of fact, this morning I went on the roof to take some pictures to bring here to show you the condition the roof is in. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm um. If I could have just gone on there and do it myself, I would have done it. But to touch the building, I need to put pull a permit. 
and to pull the permit, the property need to be in my name. Until officer, um, until attorney Lewis called Mr. Renier, the problem is solved. You know, I can pull the permit then. You see, so this is why. <laughs> You know, okay. Let me see something. I'm trying to comply. Okay. You know, uh, uh, do, would you like for me to show you the condition of the roof? All right. No, I'm trying to. Oh, 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 no, let me show it to her because Excuse maybe sir, she might. Do you have a n uh, case number for the probate case? That's what I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to look it up. But I don't. It's yeah, not I'm coming. Not it's not coming it to up. Come up, Your Honor. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, <laughs> you're getting the same thing I'm getting. I don't see it coming up either. So it doesn't look like that attorney has actually filed a case yet in Dade County. Not under Macedon Regina, or not under that name anyway. And both people are deceased. Yes, my mom and father. My father passed away first, then my mom. What's the what's the name what's the name of the attorney you said you had that's doing it? You have to turn your phone off or put it on silent or vibrate. What's the name of the attorney you said is handling it? Richard Lewis. Would you like for me L -O -U -I -S. to L O U I S. Do you have a number for him? We got to make sure if there is a probate that we are notifying the registered agent for the estate. You said Richard Lewis? Yes, one, one moment, please. How do you spell Lewis? How do you how does he spell Lewis? <coughs> Mr. Regineer, how does he spell Lewis? Uh, L E W I S. Down in Dayland. I mean, yes, the, the one in Day Dayland. All right.
Yes, this is the Attorney Lewis. Yes. Yes, Attorney Lewis. This is Special Magistrate Christopher Benjamin with the City of North Miami Code Enforcement. I have here a. Um, Mr. Rainier, R E G N I E R. He says that you're you're doing a probate for his parents' estate here in North Miami, address 1096 Northwest 120th Street. Well, what is the name? Do you know? Uh, R. The last name is R E G N I E R. First name is M A C E D O I N E. The issue that he has is that the property has been cited um, earlier this year with regards to compliance issues. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a hospital right now. Can you call me this afternoon and I'll be in my office? Well, I, I won't be able to call you. I'm having hearings right now. That's why, okay. we, that's why we called you. I'm, I'm just making a courtesy call to find yeah, out no, if there was I, a registered I got, agent. I got this case, but we haven't actually filed the probate yet because they haven't brought me all the papers. But I will be doing it. Do you know um, a time frame? Excuse me? Do you know a time frame? I want to know how much time I should give him before I start instituting fines. Uh, hopefully, he, 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 was, he, was, he said he was only waiting for one more document, so it should get started the next couple of weeks. Okay. Uh, when you file it, can you um, have him or instruct him on how to uh, give notice to the city's code enforcement division so that they know who to contact? Yes, I'll do that. All right. Thank you, Counselor. Thank you. Bye. All right. <laughs> no, because, no, because I know she has to do her job. I have to appear here. And when I appear before you, you have to make a decision. You see, now that something is being done, then at least I know I will have a few days to try to. October 17th. Pardon me? October 17th. October 17th. All right. That gives him, gives you enough time to provide him whatever document he needs and enough time for him to at least get a case filed so that we can move forward. All right? If was. If for whatever reason it's not done by then, then we're going to assess the estate, the fines for not complying. All right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Item number 89, Officer Beswick, customer Marie Blanc, case number FYBRR2017-0006.